when it comes to lipoproteins. When looking at lipoproteins, how much of it is the actual number of them versus the quality, specifically when it comes to LDL? Typically, you're wanting to know the number of particles. It's more important the number than necessarily the size. But if people can have a lot of small LDL particles, it's generally either genetic or it's due to insulin resistance. And so if they got insulin resistance, then go start tackling that. Particles predict risk. So, you know, it's a gradient, essentially. You have way more particles in your lumen. If you have a damaged endothelial lining, there's always a risk that those lipoproteins are going to get retained there. So you would dial back how many cars on the highway, so there's less likely a traffic jam. It's a, it's a numbers game, honestly. Depending on who I talk to, it seems like LDL as a whole is potentially the bad guy. And certain people in our space are saying it's just a small, dense LDL. In your case, you're saying it's not as black and white as that. It's not as black and white as that. And you know, there's no such thing as bad cholesterol. Again, everybody needs cholesterol. 